several hours in the fridge. Still holding together. Probably even better now since it's been in there, so. So we got the canola. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. As you can see, pretty chunky, like mentioned in the first video. Gonna be patient here. Just let it brown up, hopefully hold together. And like I said, one thing I'll add will be a little bit of this. Alright, so far not too bad. I'm getting a little bit of breakage here. So far, this again, this can be rectified in the future somehow. I can look into bind it a little better, but for the first time, not too bad. Right, got some of these going too. These were the ones I picked up. The uh, remember the infamous, not infamous, but the great Wendy's night. Remember that back in like uh, August, and then a little bit of cabbage just to kind of even it out. So, all right, almost there. All right, so this uh, stayed together pretty well. Presentation's decent. Uh, the, I know the <laughs> cabbage is a little weird choice. This would have been a perfect looking plate with just coleslaw here. So, <laughs> even though I don't really like coleslaw, it'd be a perfect looking plate for the thing I'm trying to do. So, all right, let's try a little bit of this. Bear said to do the Tabasco, but I'm just going to do it as it is. Yeah, just to kind of see. Yeah, you can see kind of the flaky. They're yeah, kind of holding together. And let's brush off the thing. To brush off the stove. Okay. Not outstanding, but still pretty good and not too salty tasting. Let me, uh, it's made more than I thought it would. So I don't even know if I can eat all this. Yeah, you can see the flakiness is kind of breaks up a little bit, but it's pretty dang good. I'll probably make this again with some adjustments. What will I adjust? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe add some more of the, uh, the old bay. Maybe try the dry mustard. Are we all pretty good. Thanks for watching.